Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, September the 19th. It's the 15th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. Alleluia. Psalm 77. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. I stretched out my arms in the night, and my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered you and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I've considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I remember my song in the night, and I commune with my own heart, and my spirit searched diligently. Will you cast us off forever? Will you favor us no more? Is your love gone forever, and does your promise fail? Have you forgotten to be gracious? Have you withheld your tender mercies in anger? I said, this is my grief, but I will remember the years when your right hand was strong. I will remember your works. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your works and tell of your mighty acts. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as you? You are the God that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. You have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. The water saw you, O God, the water saw you. They were afraid, and the depths trembled. The clouds rained, and the skies thundered, and your lightning flashed. Your voice was in the heavens, and your lightning illumined the world, and the earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea, and your path in the great waters. Yet your footsteps are not seen. You lead your people like a flock by the hands of Moses and Aaron. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was the governor of Judea, Herod was the tetrarch of Galilee. His brother Philip, tetrarch of Etruria and Trachonitis, and Licinius was the tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, Make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. John said to the crowds coming out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that out of these stones God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What should we do then? the crowd asked. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same. Even tax collectors came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, he told them. 
Then some soldiers asked him, And what should we do? And he replied, Don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. Here ends the lesson. Let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For those who are sick, especially Joe and Bill, and for all who suffer from COVID, that they may find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For those who celebrate birthdays, especially Kyle and Catherine, and for those who celebrate their wedding anniversaries, especially Alan and Mary Lynn. For all who've died, especially Philip, Ed, Marilyn, Wayne, Elizabeth, and Fred. For all who are in harm's way, and for the victims of terrorism and violence. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother William, Brother Max, Brother William, and for all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hear us in the days of our distress, O God of wonder and might. Remember your promises of old and grant us your compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.